So let's continue looking at this code by manually creating breakpoints and length points. If I list the code again, in this case, um, let's create a breakpoint at line 11 to check and see what the main frame, main stack frame looks like. And then let's create another breakpoint at 24 and at 26 to see what happens to the variables in Chekhov's stick. So break 11, break 24, break B, and break are the same. Now let's run the program with test as password. When we get into main, that the, the arguments are for search. So if w I can use the x, the examine command for x to show the address of the arg in the variable, which is this right here. Um, so now if I continue, we'll go into the check authorization function. And if I look for the address of argc again, there's no variable argc in the context. We're in, a new, we're in the next stack frame for the function check authorization. So now, instead, I know that check authorization has the following can see that that value is zero and it's at this location. And we also know that password buffer exists as a function, um, as, as a buffer. And we don't put at the, the and symbol in front because it's password buffer itself is already an address. So we see that that is the password buffer is at this location and it contains some stuff in there. Why is that? If I tell examine to evaluate it as if it were a string, it says that there it's we don't really know how to make those things or it's ASCII um, an ASCII decodable character. Which makes sense because we're still on line twenty four where we haven't copied the value test that we threw into the program into the password buffer. So let's continue. Now, if we go past this line, so now if I examine as if it were a string, what's in password buffer? I get test. So what does this look like in memory? If I examine 16 hexadecimal words from the ESP folder, uh, the stack folder, then we'll see um, these are some of the values in memory for each of these addresses in, in from the stack folder. pointer so it starts at about if I evaluate this as um, 16 hexadecimal bits we'll see or at least um, three two hexadecimal words Seventy-three, and these two numbers match. 
So what this tells us is that the buffer, the password buffer, begins here in memory. And then somewhere here, if we look for um, the address, I'll show you probably here, is authorized FFFFV61C. Bit is two of these um, seven, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's what was in front, and then we said it would start at C. And C. So right now we know that this flag is zero, which makes sense because we just put it. So uh, if we continue to run the program, it should print um, access denied. Access denied. Cool. Everything makes sense. The code exited. The program exited. Now what do we do? Let's evaluate what happens when we put in 28. I'm going to say run. Um, we've gotten to the point of check authorization where we've got this password passed in, which is 20A, and we're going to copy it, and we're going to copy this again. And now, um, the 20A should be within the password buffer. Let's, let's see what that looks like now. Examine um, 16 hexadecimal words from the ES the stack for. recall um, the the password buffer variable begins at this address s0 so s0 plus 12 is right here so it starts here and 41 is a an ask so here we go here we start with the a's a a a all the way down to here and then if we if we evaluate what what is the location for my is authorized flag, well, that's at 60C. Here's 60. C is 12 in, so that's right here. So instead of this being zero, which what was which was what it was when we put in tef right here, instead it's one, two, three, four, four A's. So what does that mean? That means that if we look to the code again, that means that when check authorization returns a value, it doesn't return zero, it returns four A's. And if here only check if check authorization returns a zero, and if it's a zero, it will print access denied. Otherwise, print access granted. So now you can kind of see how the buffer overflow forced check authorization to um, return a value that it didn't originally want to return.